Today we are cooking Cuban style picadillo. Today's ingredients is cumin, which is comino, salt, sazón completa, a can of Goya tomato sauce, one onion, one pack of sazón, olives, sofrito, garlic powder, and also one medium sized onion chopped into cubes. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and spray the pot with some canola oil. You can use vegetable oil. I don't recommend olive oil. And we're gonna go ahead and warm up the pot. After about a minute or two, you're gonna go ahead and add your onions. Let them saute for a little bit, let them warm up. We're gonna go ahead and let them warm up just a little bit before adding our meat. And then we're gonna continue with the next process, which we will see soon. All right, so after about two minutes or so, maybe even three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add our ground beef that we have defrosted here. So after about two or three minutes of sauteing the onions, we're gonna add our ground beef. I am adding 93% um, ground beef, one and a half pounds. We can go ahead and use this little tool right here. Let me turn the flame up a little bit. This tool is used to break up the meat. And then we're gonna start adding our ingredients in once we start breaking this up a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add is some sofrito. Just put about, I'd say about three spoons worth. That should do the job. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it up all right away. Go ahead and put that over there. As you can see, it's already starting to brown on the bottom. Just wanna go ahead and mix it in. Um, if you don't wanna use onions, you don't have to, you can go ahead and use onion powder. Anything is to your liking when, it's come, when it comes to cooking. There's no written recipes, no matter what anybody says. You make it the way you like it, not the way other people like it. I don't like to use too much oil, so that's why you go with the spray when it comes to picadillo. I don't like it looking greasy, especially since we're gonna add some water um, with the, when we add the potatoes. And we wanna make like a little saucy, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so once we have the picadillo in with the sofrito, we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and add our next ingredient, which is the sazón completa. Again, you put it to taste. Give that a mix. You could add all the ingredients at once and just give it one big mix, but I find that the taste comes out better this way. When you do it individually, some things you can mix together, but if you want good cooking, you gotta cook with time. You can't rush it, you can't rush the process, right? Next, we're gonna add our cumin. Again, everything is to taste. I added about half a teaspoon there. Some people like one teaspoon, some people like less, some don't like cumin at all. I don't like the smell of it, but I do like the taste of it. Once it's incorporated with everything else. Sometimes I do add ham, sorry, not ham. Sometimes I do add raisins to my picadillo, but since we're adding potatoes, I do not add raisins. Next ingredient is gonna be some garlic powder. Again, you put it to taste. Some salt, a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix. Now we're gonna go ahead and our, add our one pack of sazon. Even with 93% ground beef, you can see the liquid that it's already releasing. Let's 
go ahead and give that a mix. Next, we're gonna add our olives. Again, if you don't like olives, you don't have to put any. If you like only a little bit, you put a little bit. If you like a lot, you put a lot. My wife and my father, they like to eat a lot of olives. My daughter and I, we don't like to eat any. Give that one quick mix. It smells so good in here. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our one can of Goya tomato sauce. If you don't like Goya, use whatever other brand you like. Give that a quick little mix. And last but not least, I have one medium sized potato that I diced up. Go ahead and add it. Add just a little dash of salt to the potato themselves and give them a mix. Let that sit in for, let that sit in for about one minute. And now lastly, we're gonna add some water. I have a cup and a half of water here. I'm not sure if we're gonna use all of it. I just wanna add just enough to make a little sauce and to go ahead and basically cook the potatoes in. Now we're gonna go ahead and let that cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or so. I'll let you know exactly how long I cooked it for. And then we'll go ahead and let the liquid reduce down. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, my people, here we go. It is finished. It's been about 20 minutes. Let me go ahead and turn off the timer. As you can see, it reduced significantly. The potatoes have received all the flavor from the cooking. It's cooked completely. It smells delicious. It tastes delicious. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Like and share with your family and friends. Follow me on Instagram. All the links are below. Until next time, be blessed.